Coming up in this edition, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that America's space program is a very costly venture, but you do have to be one to work here. NASA's sounding rocket program lets rocketeers young and old test their own low-cost, high-risk spacecraft. Learn from your mistakes wasn't quite the catch cry for the original Gemini training sessions or space missions, but it should have been. The lessons learned in the early days of spacewalks and reconnaissance flights are still in practice today. And journey four and a half billion years back to when Mars was being formed from the gas and dust of the solar nebula. By discovering its origins, we better understand just how unique the red planet really is. But first, to South Central New Mexico, home to the White Sands Missile Range, which has been testing scientific payloads since the 1950s. A group of veteran rocketeers from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia routinely visit White Sands to assemble and launch small scientific payloads into space. NASA's sounding rocket program was set up to be a low-cost, high-risk operation where the rocketeers would take a few more chances in order to get the speed and the turnaround time that the experimenters were looking for. Aerospace engineer Bob Spagnola is in charge of assembling the rocket, multiple segments that control vehicle ignition, guidance, telemetry, recovery, plus an X-ray telescope all fit together to make up an 18-foot payload. Everything is tested before assembly on a shaker device to duplicate the vibrations and rigors of launch. 